prepared. Together <laughs> again, again. And then Ashley's gonna come in a second. Is he perfect? Okay. I'm that guy. <laughs> Just so if yeah. you're having any trouble, I'm that one. <laughs> one without the hair. <laughs> Just in case. How many people have you seen today? Oh, it's us again. You're my first interview today. Huh? You're my first interview today. Really? You waited yeah. all day for this? I did. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Let's make it happen. Hello. <laughs> Who's this right here? Hi. That's me. Yeah, but, but for who? Oh, I'm with the workprint.com. What's up, Hello, workprint? workprint.com. Hi, workprint.com. This Hi. is Donald, if you don't know him. You yeah, probably don't. This is Ashley. <laughs> you do? Definitely know who she is. <laughs> if you don't know Nick now. I don't know him. Like, that's why I'm saying, because I don't know you, so like other people probably good. don't know you. It's all yeah. good. Yeah. I'm a little older than your generation. It's all good. Thank you. <laughs> You're responsible for 18 to 49, by the way. <laughs> Just put it out there. I'm out of the 18 to 49 demographic now. No. I'm an old man. No, but I'm an old man. Ah, uh, but you still have fans in the 18 to 49 Everyone demographic. Everyone loves Donald. You said you didn't know who I was. No, I thought, no, that was a joke because we obviously know each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was oh, a, I thought you, you know. were saying I don't know this fogey next to me. No, I know you. No, okay. A lot of people know Donald because when I got this role and people were like, "Who's in the cast?" I was like, "Oh, Donald." And that was everyone was like, "Oh, that guy from Clueless." Like, I just told you for one second. She has no idea. She saw Clueless once in her life. I saw Clueless twice okay. because I watched it, and then he was like, "You have to watch Clueless again." So this then is I the watched best. It again. I love this shameless plug. <laughs> I like exposure. So while we're talking about Clueless, let's go Clueless Scrubs. What's it like going into drama? Like I, I've never seen you do drama before and I've been so excited to see it. So. I love it. One. Two, it's really scary. Um, but I think that's what makes me love it so much. Um, you know, if a joke falls flat, you can kind of edit it to make it good. And, a dramatic scene doesn't work, and the dramatic scene just doesn't work. You know what I mean? And so I really enjoy the challenge. It's 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 definitely different for me. Okay. Um, but I'm an actor, so you know it's great to be challenged. This is this is why we get into this game to do things that make us uncomfortable. So, uh, you know, it, it it's 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 very 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 scary, but I love it. It's love working. It. Yeah, I love it. Well, having done that, for actors that might want to follow in those footsteps, going from comedy to drama, but might be afraid to make that change, what advice would you give them? Just do it. You know, uh, I a long time ago I did a pilot with Brian Cranston, right, and who's gone on to win Emmys for Breaking Bad, etc. And when I met him, we were doing a comedy. It was a comedy pilot uh, written by some of the people from Seinfeld and uh, Jerry Seinfeld and um, and sorry, you guys okay? Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld uh, was one of the writers uh, along with Larry David and. I just remember Brian Cranston being so funny. And he went on to do a really funny show in the middle after that. And then he went on to do Breaking Bad. And I remember being like, dude, how did you switch? He's like, you just do it. It's like you're an actor, just go do it. If, you, if, you're, if you're afraid, that's even more reasonable. You know what I mean? You'll be surprised what you can find when you're uh, when you're when you're willing to you know sacrifice your comfortability, your comfort, I should say. Um. So based on like the first two episodes at least of the show, um, throughout the season, will we get to see more of the family dynamic between your characters and with Joe, and find out potentially what happened with your marriage, and kind of how they're doing this shared custody situation right now? I definitely think so. Today we did a scene that was kind of centered around that a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah, I definitely. Can't give away a lot, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll definitely see more of the family. I think everyone. Yes. Yeah. I think that is. I'm definitely gonna spoil something. Like, <laughs> <You almost, you laughs> <almost. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, at the center of the show, it is about family. Whether it's um, 
and whether it's blood or whether it's this, uh, you know, this little girl who's been adopted by this family. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely, you'll definitely, that element will always be involved in the show, if not, it's just a sci-fi show. Yeah, we always say. And we're on ABC. <laughs> we always say, like, the story is basically these, this family, like, normal people and crazy things are happening to normal people. Yeah. Like, to a family. Yeah. Right. We're also going to see so how much Piper coming into it is pushing this family dynamic. Exactly. You're yeah. going to definitely see yeah, a lot of that sure. also. Sure. Yes. Piper joining this family, is, it starts off a little rocky. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, my character spoiler. definitely, this is not a spoiler, okay. my character <laughs> definitely feels like she's dangerous, especially after what happened in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're really uneasy about Piper. And, and it's not because of who she is, uh, per se, it's but the people that are chasing after her. And that's scary, because I don't think he's ever, you know, he's been married to a police officer for a long time, and they got divorced. And I don't think they ever were being chased by anyone. That's definitely uh, nerve-wracking to Alex. I feel like my character, sort of embraces Piper because she wants a little sister so she thinks oh like this cute little girl that you know she Mia doesn't know yet but I think she just wants a little sister and now she knows that she can't have them because you know her parents aren't together anymore so she kind of takes this opportunity to have a new family member and she loves her I love she seeing kind that. of treats her like it. That, that's how my eldest reacted instantly at finding out she was having a little sister yeah. she's like a little sister so yeah. I just love that dynamic. I'm an only child too so like Alexa in real life too we're kind of close we have the same hair today <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure it was not planned they were like, yo, you doing the Princess Leia? I'm doing the Princess Leia. I was also kind of getting like mini mouse vibes a little bit because it kind of looks like yours. I don't know if you see that, but. I see, see Princess Leia. Oh, well, yeah, me too. But. It was like, let's do, you're going to Comic Con, might as well do the Princess Leia. Yeah, that's not what happened. Is it energizing working with younger actors? Yeah. It brings a different energy. You know right? what's crazy is that they say action and these they become adults while shooting the scene. <laughs> And then they say, cut, and these girls are freaking <laughs> goofing off, <laughs> off camera and everything like that. It's really, into, you know, they're professionals, you know, it's, uh, and very good. So it's really, it's, it's refreshing to be around that. So I remember when I was their age and I was on set, and, uh, you know, I might not have been <laughs> as well behaved as these two, you know. Um, and so, not that you guys <laughs> need to behave, be kids, but... They're very professional and they're very, uh, they're very on point. Like today we had a scene and we walked into the scene and neither one of us knew our lines. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we rehearsed it and we went over it like a couple of oh times and then uh, we got it. But yeah. I know we kind of like learned the words pretty quickly. It was like that really was cool. fast, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it was interesting to walk in and being like, all right, I got to look at this. I don't know my lines. Mm -hmm. And and and. And then what you like, right? Me too. <laughs> And then getting it right. Yeah. yeah, we were in the car, so we'd like hide the blinds in the glove compartment, and then in between each take, we'd be like, all right, here Let's we run go. It, run it, run yeah. it, run it, run it. Yeah. We're still getting to know your characters because we've only seen two episodes. What can you tell us about them that we don't already know? What that you can, can share. That we can share. <laughs> hmm. Well, my character is a civil engineer. Uh, and Just one more question. He is a. A uh, very good one at that. Um, he's also a trust fund baby. Mm -hmm. So he, so all this money that you see these people spending is my money, <laughs> <laughs> and my character's money that uh, he lost in the divorce. My character, uh, some stuff happens to her. <laughs> yeah. Um, some unexpected things yeah. because. I can't, I'm gonna spoil, I know I'm gonna spoil, I can, but you have to watch it to find out on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Okay. <laughs> That's how you plug it. I taught you well. <laughs> how, do, how do you think the relationship, will, the relationship with your family will change when Piper's like more of her powers come into play and you learn more about oh, her? Oh, that's definitely yeah. gonna be an issue yeah. that comes up <laughs> during, mm -hmm. during the show. Um, that's for sure. Uh, so we just screened episode three. Were you guys able to watch it or anything like that? Okay, so we just screened episode three. And you find out what Piper is, or who Piper is, I should say. And um, 
Clancy made a big, a great point where he was like, I just want everybody in the audience to think about who knows what's going on and who doesn't, because that's going to come into play later. So, yeah. How far into filming are you? Right now? We're on episode seven right now. Yeah, we just started episode seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're almost done with episode seven, actually. When you think about it, we're done. This no. episode was quick. Yeah. I feel like you know, we got next all next week. Too. I think Thursday. Thursday is important yeah. for us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.